Hey everybody, hope you are having a great Memorial Day weekend. My name is Professor Nick Carbonaro here on YouTube at youtube.com slash Professor Nick Carbonaro. Please subscribe, you'll get a lot of information regarding my business classes, social media, introduction to business, personal finance. You can find me on Twitter at NJ Carbonaro. And you could email me, uh, ncarbonaro at lbcc.edu. Uh, go to my website, nickcarbonaro.com. And uh, today on this Memorial Day weekend, I wanted to make a video for my personal finance classes and for generally anybody that's in uh, business and, and wants to learn a little bit more about uh, budgeting about your weekend shopping, your Memorial Day weekend shopping this weekend. Right when summer hits, a lot of people will start spending a little bit more money just because we have more time off. We start doing a lot more things. The sun's out longer, so we, we have longer days. And so um, I wanna make a video to inform my students and for anybody out there who is listening that organic is fake news, right? Let me say that again, organic is fake news. I've known this for years because as you can see, I'm wearing my, my old school Costco hat. I was in management at Costco. I worked at Costco Wholesale for over 10 years and I worked in the deli, meat department, fresh departments. And so I knew it and I knew that there were no significant benefits from the suppliers that would come in and, and talk to us about it. But it is the greatest marketing ploy that I've seen in a long time, right? If you can tug on emotional heartstrings, people get persuaded. But this past week, earlier this week, a great, great uh, man, Dennis Prager, he has uh, online videos called Prager University, only uh, solidified what I already knew, what I already knew. And so um, let me just take the next minute and a half, two minutes to tell you why organic is fake news, right? And we'll actually show it. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show it to you. So, uh, the first thing that you could see here, and I put this all on my uh, monitor for us, is the is the Prager University video that Dennis Prager put out called "Is Organic Food Worth the Cost?" And as you can see already, it came out May twenty fifth, th three days ago. It's already almost got six hundred thousand views. So I'm glad that people are watching this. But the great thing about Prager U videos compared to other YouTube videos is that he cites all the sources, right? So this was uh, this was a uh, Bjorn Lomborg was the one that uh, presented this video, and it's about a five and a half minute video. I presented to my personal finance class the other day, and they were astonished by it. And uh, organic food is not healthy for you. Uh, it's not better for the animals. It's not better for the environment. Organic farming doesn't use pesticides, but it does use natural pesticides. And on top of it, the hormones and antibiotics. Think about if you're at if you're a kid growing up and you're not getting the proper hormones, proper antibiotics. You're going to be susceptible to sicknesses. You're going to be susceptible, to, and that's why you're seeing right now outbreaks of of measles and polio, stuff that we eradicated years and years ago. But because of the whole anti-vaccination movement, we're, we're having children getting sick. So um, that's the first thing, right? Go to, go to PragerU.com, check out his videos. Stanford did a study, US did a study. I mean, I even personally, me, right? Um, me, myself, I, I worked at Costco for 10 years. I saw this happening. I saw people literally going out and buying organic when we, simp when we have better food and healthier food and maybe just the same health as non-organic, right? The only reason why it's double in price is not only because of marketing, right? You could sell it to people who are willing to buy. There's, there's a market for everybody. There's a market for every sucker out there. But number two is because it takes about twice the amount of energy and efficiency to produce the same amount, right? And so you're not doing it for any moral standards because other countries, they can't even eat, right? They're, 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 they're so poor that if we would try to go organic with everybody, it would actually kill people, literally kill people. And so that's the first thing. Second thing is go to amazon.com, right? So I pulled up Amazon Fresh. And let me make this full screen so you can actually see it. Amazon Fresh, where you could buy chicken, right? Now, I just pulled up Amazon Fresh, probably you get better prices at your grocery store. But look at this, just bare chicken, hand trim, boneless, skinless is $5.29. Right? And it's got three stars. It's got three stars, right? This is the biggest marketing ploy out there. This is the biggest marketing ploy out there. It's got three stars. And if you scroll down, let's scroll down to the organic breast fillets, right? I mean, yes, those are a little those are a little different. Let, let's compare apples to apples. Five dollars and sixteen cents. Four and a half stars, okay. This one, 
five stars, right? Still five stars, 4.99 out of five stars. And look at the price, $10 to five dollars right they don't even put it per pound because they know the 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 ridiculousness of it right so think about that same chicken same prices same same chicken same health same nutrients and everything like that but double the price why because the marketing ploy organic right so this goes this hits with my introduction to business class and my marketing class my digital social media class everything right if you can market something well you can sell it right even when the scientific data, right? Even when the scientific data isn't backing it, you could still sell it. Why? Because people are susceptible to marketing. People are susceptible to persuasion. So with this Memorial Day weekend, I leave you with this. Be smart with your grocery shopping. Be smart with your budgeting. Don't buy something just because you may feel morally superior to everybody else because you're buying organic, right? It's not about that. It's about conserving your resources, being financially responsible, especially with summer coming around. Don't feel guilt tripped into buying organic. I know a lot of places are pushing organic, but you have to ask yourself, why are big retailers pushing organic? Because it makes money, right? It makes money. And so this Memorial Day weekend, be smart with your shopping, be safe with your parties, have fun, and always remember the reason why we're celebrating Memorial Day weekend for all those fallen soldiers that have uh, sacrificed themselves for our lives, right? And so with that, I wish you um, a good week and a very, very happy and safe Memorial Day weekend.